We have Montana Fishburne now coming out and saying she regrets doing porn. Oh, this is so crazy. If only she had read, um, I wrote a blog about her in 2010, making, explaining to people why you shouldn't do porn. Um, porn industry is not a place where you go to become famous. Montana Fishburne thought, no, I'm going to be like Kim Kardashian. I'm going to be a big star after doing this porn movie. What she doesn't understand is that is she just really didn't understand the entertainment business. She really didn't understand the porn industry. Um, it turns out they paid her sixty thousand dollars, and she thought she was she she thought she was going to get royalties from it. She didn't understand in the porn industry nobody gets royalties. Usually in the porn industry you get paid up front. And that's how it's always been. And her getting 60 grand was considered, that's really, really on the high end. That's, that's beyond the, the high end because most porn stars usually make about 1000 to $1,500. And you make about 1500 if you do anal. And that's only if you're a um, top billing porn star. Her getting $60,000, they were being very generous at Vivid Entertainment. I mean, the average porn actress, they usually get $200 or $100. Usually black actresses get let get two hundred dollars or less. Um, what people really don't know about the porn industry is that most porn actresses really um, they are escorts who work their escorts in when they're not doing films, or they're strippers or exotic dancers when they're not doing films. Um, Montana Fishburne came in thinking that she was going to take the fast track by Kim Kardashian, but one, she didn't understand how the porn industry works and how the porn industry relates to black people, and how the entertainment industry relates to black people. Um, in the entertainment business, African Americans are not considered, you know, high end. Um, there was, there was never going to, there would never be a reality show for a black, um, act, a black woman who does porn. Um, there's never going to be clothing lines and all that stuff. I mean. When a black woman in entertainment, she's considered at the bottom of the barrel. And that's even for regular black actresses. They're not considered super high end. They're considered low end. And Montana Fishburne, really, there was nobody there to teach her about the entertainment business or how the entertainment business worked. She came in to the entertainment business thinking, I mean, to the porn, and thinking that she would use porn as a gateway to the entertainment business, but she just didn't understand. Um, Kim Kardashian had something called white privilege. Um, Kim Kardashian was considered a, I mean, when you're a white girl, you're allowed to get away with things that black women aren't allowed to get away with. Um, the general thing in entertainment business is they see the black woman as a Jezebel stereotype. I mean, it's cons I mean, they consider black women to be, in general, whores from start from day one. So, for Montana Fishman to do porn, they never expect, they, that's what they actually expected her to do. They expected to put her in hypersexualized image. So, what happened to her, now she's saying that she regrets doing porn, but if she had just sat down and talked to some people, they would have told her different. They would have told her, look, for black women, it's already hard as it is to get roles in the entertainment business, and it gets ten times harder to get work at, um, after you do this. There's, there's no, I mean, black women don't get clothing lines. Black women don't get um, TV, reality TV shows. All usually most black women get is abandoned and most black women in the porn industry don't even and then the whole thing is in general the most actresses in the porn industry don't really last that long the average porn career um is for for um, a non uh, not a, uh, not a top biller is maybe about six months to a year and usually most girls are out in 90 days or less because the people come in they, they they find out that these films have long hours, you're working, and you're only getting a hundred bucks. I mean, two hundred bucks at the most. And I mean, the average prostitute makes that more, makes more than that in a day. And it's, it's. She thought she was, and she just, just, just didn't understand how the business goes and how the porn industry turns over performers um, on a rapid rate. I mean, they know that the, most of the people who produce porn movies know that. There's more 18 to 19 year old girls coming off the bus on 7th Street um, at the Greyhound station, and they can always get new performers. And even top stars, their careers only last maybe about five years tops at the most. 
because there's just just no money in it. There's just no money. I mean, fifteen hundred dollars is the is as high as it goes, and that's only if you do anal sex, and it's only and they only get a thousand dollars. There's no money in porn. And Montana Fishburne was just sad that she just nobody sat down and talked to her. her father didn't sit down and tell her about how the entertainment business works and that she should have just been focusing on going to college and getting an education and doing the hard work doing the things like the bit rolls um, the extra work the guest spots um, and things like that this is how you build up a career in entertainment if you want to become an actress you're gonna to have to take those small roles in commercials or those extra roles to get credits you're gonna to have to um, take and you're gonna to have to go through the hard work of going through audition after audition um, getting roasted by producers getting roasted by directors um, but she just there is no fast track to um, a career in entertainment there's no fast track at all you're just gonna to have to sit to buckle down and do the work it's gonna be hard it's gonna be painful and you're gonna struggle Everybody's gonna, everybody has to pay their dues in the entertainment business, everyone. There is no easy way in or easy way out. And what Montana Fishburne, I really see it as, I hope a lot of other black girls um, learn a valuable lesson from her and what she tried to do because um, there is, there, uh, for, for black girls, really, you can't use, you can't be like Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian, she, she had her white privilege. She was very lucky to get away with what she did, but in the real world, it, it, it doesn't work that way for black girls. It doesn't it really doesn't work that way because black girls are already considered Jezebel by white supremacist Hollywood. They're, um, I mean, there is no nobody really cares if you're if a black girl does a sex tape. It is not going to be a gateway to clothing lines and reality shows, and. It's no way. It's not going to help a black girl start a career. But the entertainment business is four worlds, um, four worlds: one black, one white, and the world for black actresses is considered the lowest of the low. And the only way you're going to get into the entertainment business really legitimately is through um, auditions. You're going to have to do the auditions. You're going to have to get an agent. You're going to have to do the hard work. You have to take the lessons, and you're just gonna have to pay dues. Um, I'm, that's all for now. I'm just comment, rate, and subscribe.